Okay, so let's get into these Glee's underrated lines part four. We already know who the top girls are when it comes to the underrated lines. As you know, we it's Santana, it's Britney, and it's always um, Sue with the comebacks and the quickness or whatever. But yeah, we're about to get into this video, so let's get it. You're up, kid. You make this and we win. You make this and you die a legend. Can I pee first? <laughs> Rachel's what you'd call a controllist. I, I, I'm controlling. Controllist isn't the word. I'm controlling. It's sad enough that my Sue's kids are living in squalor and probably on food stamps. My dad's a dentist. But for Senior year is all about being the Cheerios top ho and modeling my fierceness after my numero <laughs> uno Latina, Paula Abdul. Paula Abdul is an Arab. I have a cause, several actually. I hate the arts and a bunch of other stuff. If you want to win, find yourself a cause, my friend, and then start flinging poo. Winning is really about poo flinging. I was my first real week in New York. And I'm snowbound in Bushwick with a bunch of musical theater queens. No, you're doing it wrong, Daisy. Or oh, I can't do it. I'm in love with William. I just can't. It's like Eli Roth decided to make a gay horror movie, and this is the scene right before we all eat each other. <laughs> oh, you did it again. Welcome to Downton Abbey. <laughs> so where are you from, Doctor Who? Uh, England. Do you know Essex? No, I've never heard of it. What I finally realize, now that I'm well into my late 30s, you can't say things like that. Oh, I think you'll find I can say anything I want. Absolutely stunning, kind face, blue-eyed girl. Oh. I heard you were having a little trouble figuring out what to get me. That was kind of creepy. Who told you? Kurt? No. Yes. <gasps> what? Your coach is sending me weekly reports, and you dropped out a month ago. I'm sorry, I hated it there. Everyone thought that I was being a bitch when all I was doing was being brutally honest with people. Look, please don't tell my mom. No, I can. I don't speak Spanish. You worry too much, Terry. Mom smoked and drank a bottle of green tea on ice every night when she was pregnant with us, and we're totally normal. You're all coffee and no omelet. That doesn't make any sense. I've never seen that before, Mr. Shu, I swear. It's not mine. I'll pee in a cup. Well, for instance, we learned that you were not born in the Panama Canal Zone. You did not fight in the Falklands War. You did not play any role in extracting the dictator Noriega. Nor is there any evidence whatsoever that you were ever waterboarded. Now, Geraldo, I'm going to stop you right there. I waterboarded myself. That's a steer with six teeth and no oink. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. I'm like a lizard. I need something warm beneath me or I can't digest my food. Last week we were too sexy, this week we're too religious, we can't win. Now I know what Miley feels like. Let's calm down, it's gonna be okay. Wait, here, throw some salt over your shoulder. Go back inside, go change. Uh, Just don't hurt What are we gonna do? What? Do we, what? what do I do? Hey guys, do you mind if I ritualistically slaughter this chicken? Nutrition this Santana like walk in on you know her? This is? Toilet brush. It's broccoli. When I showed this to Brittany earlier, she began to whimper, thinking I had cut down a small tree where a family of gummy bears lived. I think that you and I are a little bit more similar than you think. That's a terrible thing to say. I wanted to say thank you for what you did for Marley and me. I have no idea what you're talking about. I had nothing to do with the making of that film. I can speak on behalf of my wife. You're the prettiest one here. And I don't just think you're the prettiest. I think you're the prettiest by a long shot. I mean, if you look at all the other girls here, there's really no contest. I mean, some of them are just downright homely. Sit you know your ass down. You're, you're blowing it. <laughs> Sit you your ass down. William. Huh? You. Every year when the photos for the thunderclap come around, I always elect to have a little work done. This year, got myself a bit of an eye lift. And while they were in there, I told them, go ahead and yank out those tear ducts. What been using them? Where's Rachel? She's not here yet. Quinn, thank you for coming. I know you must be exhausted from singing all those oohs and background ahs. Won't Quinn be mad at you sitting vigilant? Oh my God. Well, I'm standing. And uh, she'd understand how awful I feel, even if it's not broken. It's broken. It's my favorite one. You can eat that. It's a bull testicle. I drove all the way to Spencerville to get it. You know, it came with a pair, but I got hungry on the way home, so. It tastes just like a chicken testicle. All right, y'all, that was my reaction to this video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, please make sure to leave a like, comment, subscribe. I will see y'all in my next reaction video.